Do you guys like this hat? I really like this hat. I bought it yesterday at Kohl's. I think it's kind of cool. They had a Father's Day discount. I'm not a father, but I bought the hat. I collect hats. I have a lot of hats. I have two cowboy hats and I have a bunch of baseball hats. So this is the newest hat to my collection. Hi guys, the time has come to leave the US. I've been here for six months now, or almost six months, and I have to go back because I can only stay six months at a time. I'm very, very sad. I'm at LAX, um, and I've done so much, and a lot of the stuff that happened I didn't talk about on my vlog, but I have done a lot. I made a lot of great friends, and I'm really gonna miss everyone. Uh, and I really don't want to leave, but I'm also very excited because we're going to uh, go to England, France, Germany, and Poland when I go to Europe. So I'm going to be doing a lot of fun and exciting stuff. Uh, but it's now time to leave California. So greetings from the LAX airport. My flight is in three hours. I still don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably just going to... I'm probably just gonna read books. I've got a bunch of books with me. But I need to eat and drink something too. The biggest fear is coming back because I don't know if they're going to allow me to come back for another six months, but we'll see. What did I do on my last day in America? On my last day in America, I saw a bunch of friends, but the last thing I did was go to the casino. That's right, I went to the casino um, and I had about $70 in a ticket and I could have cashed it and just taken the $70 home but of course I gambled with it and I lost almost everything I was literally down to $2 and then I won a small jackpot so the $2 turned into $120 so I took out the $120 and I played a little bit more lost 10 and I took the 110 and went home so I won a little bit of money last night, not a lot, and uh, that was kind of fun. Packing was hard, and and I'm drinking one of my favorite drinks, which is root beer. I absolutely love root beer. They don't have that in Europe. They don't have it in England. They have it in some specialist stores, but it's very expensive. Um, and I sometimes mix it with water in my awesome new cup. Look at that cup. It's cool. It was one dollar at Walmart. Because root beer in itself is very, very sweet. When I was younger, I drank it on its own. Now I uh, dilute it with water because it's just too sweet for me. Uh, so I guess it's true. As you get older, your tolerance for sugar decreases and you like things that are less sweet than what you did when you were younger. But I absolutely love being a travel gypsy, a travel nomad, uh, I love getting around, I love traveling, I'm flying to Madrid right now, only passing through, I wish I had time and resources to stop in Madrid, but I don't really, so I'm just going to be at the airport and I'm going to fly back to Manchester, uh, and I'm just going to spend some time in Manchester and check on my friends and check on my house, um, then I'm doing a bunch of other exciting stuff and I'll make videos about that. One thing that's been happening that's a little unsettling is that my old boyfriend has been texting me and has been asking me to get back together. He's been asking to meet up and I know that when we meet up he's going to want to get back together because he already broke up with me once and he asked me to get back together with him. And that's when we went to Florida. I made a video about when we went to Florida. And he's doing the same thing. He's like texting me, um, oh hey, uh, how are things going? Um, let's meet and talk about us and uh, man I, I really want to because I actually really miss him I miss him every day it's really hard but I know that things didn't work out for a reason uh, things didn't work out and, and unless something radically has changed then what's the point of starting the relationship again uh, we're just gonna run into the same problems so a part of me really wants to get back together with him because I miss him and I miss having um, a boyfriend in my life, someone stable, someone handsome like him. He was very good looking. Uh, but at the same time, I know that I'm going to be unhappy again because uh, I was pretty unhappy the entire last month of our relationship. 
I wasn't happy. I actually wanted to talk about him, about maybe taking things slower and maybe taking some time out to think about things. And then before I even got a chance to di do that, he broke up with me. Uh, so I know that things were tough, but, and I'm not gonna get back together with him, but I, I, part of me just really wants to. So, but I have to take advantage of being single again and being able to do what I wanna do and having cereal whenever I wanna have cereal. And what am I doing now? Guess what, I'm watching Hiding in My Room my favorite YouTube channel. Oh, this is an ad. This is Daniel's Q&A. I love this YouTube channel. It's my favorite YouTube channel. <laughs> 